Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show. Today, a slightly different video. I'm going to be doing a war room update. Uh, I know I've been promising it for absolutely donkeys. I do apologize. I'm trying to, uh, desperately trying to catch up with all my reviews. I've got so many watches to yet to do. I've got to do wristwatch check before I get into this video. I'm wearing the Squally 1521 Azzurro. It's been stunning weather, although today back to Chilean uh, overcast, my favorite, but uh, yeah, it has actually been getting quite summery now. Uh, summery, is that a word? I, don't, <laughs> so, so I keep I keep making up words, I do apologize. Yeah, the, the sun is out, the, the leaves are finally blooming on the uh, on the trees, so um, getting in that summer vibe with my Squally 1521. Uh, enough rabbiting on, let's roll the intro and get into today's video. <laughs> Why do I call it the war room? Well, actually, it's based on a concept. I read an article years ago about uh, how companies would have these spaces where they'd brainstorm, where they'd surround themselves with kind of inspirational things. Basically, my inter interpretation, so to speak, of the concept, because I do a lot of my work. I spend a lot of time here. I edit my videos. Actually, this is this is not the this is my work computer, but. I edit my videos, I, I have an entertainment system, occasionally if I have time I, I have video games as well, not that I, I do, but um, and it's just a space, I think every um, gentleman should have a space, a, a man cave, whatever you want to call it, maybe it's a sports room, You're all, it's totally up for your own interpretation, uh, but somewhere where you have a desk, you have an area where you can relax, it's your space in the house or the flat or uh, however you live. A bit of a gentlemanly essential, I guess. I guess you could say. It's somewhere to keep my watches, my king and country collection. You guys know I collect die-cast uh, models as well. Um, so it really is important to have your own space where you can um, relax and you know, concentrate on, on projects or work or play, I guess, as well. So without further ado, let's change perspectives and have a closer look. That is the view that you guys usually see. And if I zoom out, that's my big boy camera that I use. And there's the desk or the main war room. So at the moment, I'm using a, a little handheld camera. Uh, this is my big boy camera with the cardioid mic. So let's have a little closer look. We'll walk over here. So first of all, I have, well, I haven't named my stag yet. <laughs> you might, may have noticed. I got it on eBay for an absolute bargain. Then I have my cork board over here that I like to pin, uh, you know, postcards. Uh, I got this from my good friend Reina. He sent me this, which actually rotates. It's my grandfather, my one of the biggest inspirations in my life. There is the new five pound note with old Winnie on it, which is pretty cool. I always pin my um, my NATO straps, <clears throat> excuse me, my NATO straps that uh, I've currently got in rotation. There's old uh, Ripley wearing the Jujado, of course. So I've got my flags over here. I bought this beautiful bronze bust of Julius Caesar, really substantial bit of big bit of marble. I absolutely adore this. Um, got it. I think I ordered it from Canada because it weighs a ton. It, it costs more to ship this than it did. I, I won it in, a, in an auction for absolutely nothing. Uh, then you guys know I have my big map, map of the world. 
this was from Amazon, I think. I did have a, a, a new one before this, but it looked a little bit like the map you see at a uh, primary school. <laughs> so this one is a little bit more vintagey. On top of it, I have my little collection of World War II tanks. I've got a tiger there. These are actually from Japan. They're really tiny, as you can see. Um, I have mostly German panzers. I do have, there's a little, I have got a little Sherman there. Pick them up dirt cheap on eBay. A, a lot of my stuff is from eBay. Then I have the main desk area. Um, there's old uh, Hugo here. Hello, trucks away. Lego Big Ben there. Now you guys have asked me a lot about this. This is a watchwinder from Wolf. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Absolutely deadly silent. I mean, you don't hear it when it's when it's in motion, which is really really nice. And that is something I should point out about buying slightly higher end watch winders. The moat, the quality of the motor. Um, I'm, I'm, no doubt this is probably made in China as well, but it is deadly silent. Sorry, it's so dusty there. Uh, then I have my big old Panzer here. Uh, this is King and Country uh, audio interface uh, for my old computer. And then I've got this chap over here. This is a recent uh, acquisition. I won it in a bid. Now it's not made terribly well. As you can see, it's a samurai suit of armor. Um, you can buy them. I think they're various styles. I'm a big fan of the uh, Hagakori Samurai, um, Code of the Samurai book. Incredible book, very, very, um, it's, it's, it, it's a, like a self-help book for warriors. <laughs> it's quite unusual, but an amazing book. Um, so I'm kind of obsessed with the samurai culture. I love the history, feudal Japan, big fan of Kurosawa, uh, also the Lone Wolf and Cubs movies. Then I have my King and Country collection. Um, all kinds of different pieces. Got old Winnie there, Rommel. Uh, he's a Cavalier drummer from the... Actually, let's open it up. Let's just open it up. Got the... Let's just move this out of the way. Got the old... Oh, this is such a good squeak. Um, got Coldstream Guard. You got Tommy there. Um, I think he's a crusader, good Roman. Oh, this is from the 101st Airborne uh, Band of Brothers. Um, even, even, it's got even a little furry bit of grass. Nelson, some uh, knights there. Then I have uh, Spitfire, a Stuka there, of course. I've got my beautiful die cast. Then, in this area, you don't really see this, guys, but this is this is off camera. This is my DVD collection. You're probably wondering why <laughs> do I buy DVDs? Well actually everyone wants Blu-ray. You can buy, for example, I bought Master Commander here uh, for like a dollar fifty. I love picking up bargains on eBay. Um, above I have, uh, you guys know I love my signet rings, so I've got all my different signet rings. This is Garnet for when I'm wearing red. Then I have, of course, my TGV with the Wolford line, which I had made by Oxford Signet Ring Company. And then I have a bust of Julius Caesar. Look at the detail. Really incredible. I got given by my wife. Uh, that's a blue star sapphire, I think, and that's a black star sapphire. And then, of course, this is the very first signet ring, tiny now. It's a little Victorian ring that I had custom engraved. And actually, I'm wearing the other one. So this is this is the Mark II, this is the Mark I, and then that is the Mark III. Then I have lots of little tchotchkes. Uh, this, I forget the gem. This is Lapis Lazuli. Uh, you've got to have an obelisk. The obelisk is one of the most oldest time-telling devices, a uh, part of horological history. Um, I mean, it, it had more uses than, than telling time, but it was a very rudimentary time-telling device. It's shadow back in ancient Egypt. This is an Amorite, uh, iridescent Amorite um, stone fossil there. Absolutely gorgeous. Got that on eBay as well. Actually, it's the same seller. He specializes in gemstones. I do love my gemstones. Here I have 
my runes. These are lapis lazuli uh, ancient runes there. There's the old comet, DH88, uh, the black magic. I love this piece, beautiful. Oh, it's got so dusty, I do apologize. I should have cleaned the Union Jack on the back. Look at those twin engines there. Beast of an airplane, absolutely gorgeous, black magic. Uh, there I have my Junkers and my little Corsair that I made. Uh, that I give out as gifts. Then up here we have my bust of Napoleon. This I had to order from St. Petersburg. They have all the world leaders. You can get one of everyone from Putin to Lenin to whoever you want. Um, I chose Napoleon. I'm just a, a big uh, fan of the, that particular uh, part of history. I find his story absolutely fascinating. And then up there I think we got we got a Sherman. This is from, this is a die cast from Dragon Armor, I think. And that is from the Korean War, I think. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, of course, we have my aliens model that was given to me by my wife. I think, was that Christmas or my birthday? I forget. Two Trintec. Uh, aviation inspired clocks. I got these from Long Island Watches. Uh, made in Canada. Great, great clocks. Very, very accurate. Um, yeah, just love them. And then on my desk, I have, I even have a, pa a Panther, Panzer mouse mat. So I have watches here that are either in rotation or I'm about to review. So you can see the Hamilton there. I'm about to review that. Got the old Seiko that I was wearing over the weekend with that fantastic strap I'm gonna review that as well so then I've got the two computers and I bought this thing which so I could mount them uh, this is really really great this bracket mount thing it clips onto the table this is my entertainment computer I have uh, hooked up to a little mini Mac there so that I use for kind of entertainment I stream Rai or, or the news or whatever and then on that one, this used to be, you know, the, the, the machine's down there, but this used to be my music machine. Now, it's got so out of date, instead of throwing away, I just use it to scroll the artwork so I can enjoy all my favorite artworks. So I don't really use that one anymore. And then I have my main, this is my work laptop. Now, I bought this laptop. It's a super duper powerful laptop. I think, what is it? I think it's a Hewitt and Packard's PC. Unfortunately, for my job, uh, most of the software I use is still on PC. I originally bought for gaming, but it's become my work laptop because it's such a monster. It's it's really, really powerful. So that I use for work. And then I have another MacBook, which is in another room uh, that I use to edit the videos. So I have dedicated computers for different things. Uh, here I have my chair, I have this thing which is for doing sit-ups, but I use it to support my back. And then underneath I have all the tons of watch boxes, as you can see, watch boxes, watch boxes, watch boxes. Yeah, I've still got my one of my KRK. I got the KRK up there, but I do not use this uh, so much because I I tend to I don't really mix at home anymore. I'm more, it's mainly just editing in in headphones, so I don't really do any mixing. Uh, so they're a bit redundant, although I'm keeping them because they're just such amazing monitors. Now underneath here, I have. Uh, I mean, you can tell it's all it's all just watch boxes, you know, uh, but here I have a little pull out thing with all my bits and bobs. So I keep things like all my straps, these are all um, spring bars in there, um, buckles, uh, we got bracelets, all, all leather straps, rubber straps, all kinds of stuff suede there, got my canvases. I even got um, threads to, to fix any of the stitching. Uh, some beautiful old collar red there. Um, so yeah, I just try to keep things organized. Bit of, ignore the messy wires. This is my hard drives. I have my backup hard drives there. Got on some computer games for... Uh, I don't really have consoles. I have... Where are they? Down here, I think. Here we go. So you can see I have a Vita, there's me. Yeah, you can see what I'm using. So I have a Vita, which I use in the hospital. And I also have, uh, quite recently I bought this. This is the Game Boy 3D XL. I like mobile gaming, so a lot more Watchbox. Actually, we should unwrap this, add it to the collection. I've been waiting to 
to add this I bought another king country I want to add it to my collection now you can buy these for an absolute steal on eBay let's just there we go oh look at that look at that beautiful really nice look at the paint job on that just gorgeous little axe got a little axe there face paint on put it right there look at that fantastic perfect yay very happy about that oh i forgot to mention over here tucked in i have all my knives so I've got my Victorinox there, my German Army Victorinox, Leatherman, I think that's a Kershaw in there, got the Spider Cove, got my old Leaky and um, Opinel of course. Got Lagiol or Lagiol or however you want to, <laughs> got a few watches that, uh, actually I've still got to sell this, is that beautiful manual wind Seiko that I've still got to sell. Beautiful piece. Snagged it up for, for a bargain. Um, more die cast planes there. Guys, if you want me to do a collection review or talk about movies that I, I love in my collection, do let me know. I, I'll do a collection review. I, I don't know if that's something you, you guys would be interested in. Uh, as you know, I love cinema. So, yeah, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a video about my... Um, my film collection. The chair and table desk are from Ikea. I tend to buy all of my furniture from Ikea because, well back home in England it's my, all my furniture is antique, but because I move around from apartment to apartment it just makes sense that I get everything from Ikea because it's, well it's affordable, it goes with everything, it's easy to assemble, you can disassemble it, move it, um, so I always go for Ikea stuff. Binoculars there for spying at people out the window. <laughs> so let's take it back to this view. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave you there. Please don't forget to add your thoughts, queries, questions, opinions, all the rest of it in the comments below. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And as always guys, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.